Plate tectonics is a theory that explains how lithospheric plates move and cause geologic features. The crust is the thinnest layer and the outer layer of the earth. It's made out of rock. There are two kinds of crust. They are oceanic crust and continental crust. The mantle is the thickest middle layer. The lithosphere is part of the mantle and it's made out of solid and liquid so it slowly moves. The center layer of the earth is the core. There are outer core and inner core. The outer core is liquid but the inner core is solid. Alfred Wegener is a scientist that found out that the continents were slowly moving even he didn't know the Earth's structure. He used a lot of evidence to show to the other scientists, but other scientists didn't believe him because they couldn't think of any force strong enough to make continents move. So Wegener's hypothesis was rejected. Wagner found a lot of kinds of evidence. He had fossil evidence, rock types, mountain ranges, and ancient climate. For fossil evidence, he collected fossils to support his hypothesis. Fossils of one kind was found in lots of places, which meant they were one land. Rock types, Wagner realized that the oldest rocks on the African, South and American continents were next to each other when the continents were shown as Pangaea. Some mountain ranges also looked as if they were once connected. Appalachian Mountains looked they were a single long mountain range. Climates, Wagner was a meteorologist who studied weather and climate. So Wagner traveled the planet looking for rocks that contain evidence of past climate. Continental drift is the slow movement of the Earth's continents toward and away from each other. Alfred Wagner said that the continents drifted by flowing through the seafloor, and he also thought that the edges of the continents look like they fit together because they had once been attached as an entire landmass. There are three types of boundaries which are convergent, divergent, and transform boundaries. Convergent boundary is which two places collide. Divergent boundary is which two places move apart from each other. And transform boundary is which two places slide into each other. All the time, mantle moves and plates move because convection currents happen in the mantle. There are three types of convergent boundaries. They are continental, continental boundary, continental oceanic boundary, and oceanic, oceanic boundary. After one of denser continental crust sink, the continental crust crash into each other and they rise up and form mountain ranges. This kind of mountain ranges are called folded mountains. Example, Himalayas. This is the Himalayas that is a type of folded mountains. Oceanic crust subducts into the continental crust because oceanic crust is denser than the continental crust. After it subducts, ocean trench forms in the mantle. Then in the mantle, the subducted lithosphere melts and becomes magma. Because of that, volcano forms in the edge of the continental crust. Example, Cascade Range. This is the Cascade Range made by the continental oceanic boundaries. Older colder oceanic plate subducts, magma forms in the mantle above the subducted lithosphere. Then again, like the continental oceanic boundary, volcano forms. In the subducted place, there forms an oceanic trench. After the magma comes out, it dries and becomes an island. Example, Marianas Island. This is the Marianas Island. There are two types of divergent boundaries. They are continental and oceanic boundaries. In the divergent continental boundary, Reef Valley forms. Because of the magma coming out, continental crust cause cracks. As the crust pulls apart, large part of the rock sink and makes Reef Valley. As it gets farther, it makes a narrow sea or lake. And after spreading and spreading, it forms an ocean. In the oceanic boundary, the oceanic crust cracks and moves apart, and beneath that there is magma. The ridge that was made by the crack is called mid-ocean ridge, and after that magma comes up through the mid-ocean ridge. It dries and becomes rocks. The newer the rock is, the closer it will be from the mid-ocean ridge. Transform boundary has only one type of boundary, which is the continental.
as they slide into each other, earthquakes happen in the boundary and fault forms as the earthquake happens. Fault is a cracked rock that moves to the other side of the plate. As the two sides of the mountain moves away from each other, magma comes up from the earth's interior. Then it dries into rock as it cools by the sea, creating new ocean floor. And this is called seafloor spreading, and the seafloor spreading happens in the mid-ocean regions. And the old seafloor will be farther from the mid-ocean reach. Whenever you use a compass, the needle points to north. Magnetic polarity changes in each few years. When you live in the time that the magnetic polarity is reversed, the compass needle will point south instead of north. The rocks that was more formed by the sea floor spreading change magnetic polarity in each few years, but the distance of the mid-ocean reach stays the same. These are the sites that I found my pictures. Pai Sumincho.